Tigers fans, Tigers fans, Tigers fans. You really thought you could get rid of him that easy. You really thought he would just go quietly and peacefully. You thought we could just fire him and open up a new chapter of our team, move on to bigger and better things. Well, you were wrong. The ghost of Alavila is still haunting the Detroit Tigers. He's like a rotten stench that you just can't get rid of. It just lingers and lingers, and it's just brutal. Now, one thing we're not going to do, we're not going to make this a Scott Harris problem. This isn't his problem. This is the stench of Alavila. This is the ghost of Alavila still haunting the Detroit Tigers. Scott Harris, he made his own plays. He signed Michael Lorenzen. And he signed him for one year, 10 mil, 8 mil. And he got a good player out of him. How Yu Lee is a, a good player. He's young, he's a contact and power hitter. So he's a very quality hitter. Hits for contact, hits for on base. And he can also hit home runs, doubles. That's a good player. It's a good play that Scott Harris made. Scott Harris is showing he can make plays. But unfortunately, he could not clean up Alavila's mess here. Alavila made a huge mess of the Detroit Tigers when he signed Eduardo Rodriguez and Javi Baez right before getting fired. And unfortunately, Scott Harris cannot clean up this mess that Avila left us with. We are stuck with what he left us with. It's just brutal, guys. It's really just br brutal. Eduardo Rodriguez denied the trade to the Los Angeles Dodgers because he had a no-trade clause for 10 teams. Just unreal. I, I, I thought he... I didn't think it could get worse with how he traded, but then his contracts are just... Everything about what Alavila did was horrible. From the trades to the contracts to player development was an absolute abomination. Avila is a right up there with the worst GMs in history of any sport. Matt Millen, he was really bad on the Lions, but Avila's right there up with him. What what did Avila do? He, he only thing he did was run the Tigers into the ground, and even when he's gone, he continues to hinder the Tigers and hurt them more. So is Avila the worst GM in Detroit sports history? And is he one of the worst GMs in the history of sports in general? You guys let me know in the comments. Tigers fans, this is just very unfortunate. And unfortunately, Boston already used the qualifying offer on Eduardo Rodriguez, so the Tigers cannot use the qualifying offer. And like I said, just the contract he gave Eduardo, the team gets screwed completely. You're either overpaying a bad player if he completely fails and he just is a very bad player, or if he becomes this good player that he has become, Cy Young candidate, top five pitcher in the AL, if he becomes that, which is what you want, he's just opting out and leaving after, what, a, two years? So there's really no winning for the ball club in this situation. It's a complete joke of a contract. I like Eduardo. He's a good player, but as far as just the team, the Detroit Tigers, Alavi, like you're, you're a joke, man. How do you do this? So, 10, 10 team no trade clause, and it's just, there's nothing you can do. We try to trade him to the LA Dodgers, and no, he doesn't want to go because he wants to stay on the East Coast with his family. Now, Tigers fans know last year, Eduardo missed, like, the whole season because of family issues. They kept it close to the vest. We don't know exactly what it was. There's a lot of speculation, but no one can really say exactly what it was, but it was family issues. So he clearly has something going on with his family to where he obviously wants to stay on the East Coast, I guess. I, I don't really know. But, I mean, you think about some of the teams that might have been buyers on the East Coast, Baltimore, Cincinnati, Miami, they could have been buyers, but we don't know if they were on his no trade, the no trade clause, the no trade list. So it really just, 
you can only go on the East Coast, and there's 10 teams I don't want to go to. So how many teams can you really even trade him to? There's really, it dwindles down to lower and smaller and smaller until this situation comes up. We don't trade Eduardo. He's going to opt out, and we're going to get nothing for one of the best pitchers right now in the American League. It's a complete disaster for the Detroit Tigers. Al Avila never fails to ruin our organization, even when he's not here. He's still doing it. It's already enough I have to watch Isak Paredes be the best hitter on the Tampa Bay Rays, one of the best teams in the league, while Austin Meadows sits out the whole season because he has anxiety. We already got, Didn't we already get fleeced enough? I mean, Tigers fans are just getting kicked and kicked while we're down, and it's all because of Al Avila and Chris Illich for letting him have a job for as long as he did. He's almost just as much at fault, guys. Do you guys put any blame on Chris Illich for what Al Avila did to the Detroit Tigers, or do we just put it all on Al Avila? Let me know down in the comments, guys. But this is just unbelievable. Like I said, no trade clause, 10 teams, plus you can only go to the East Coast. What do you want Scott Harris to do? It just dwindles and dwindles until you... Clearly, there was nothing that could have been done. He already tried to get him over to L.A. and I mean, that's that's a whole other topic, because why wouldn't you want to go to L.A. for a couple months, pitching the playoffs, pitching maybe a World Series or something, and then you're really getting a lot of money. So I don't really understand why Eduardo didn't want to do that, but I do understand because he's still going to get a big contract regardless, and I think Eduardo has clearly shown he doesn't care about winning. He cares about his family and making the most amount of money he can. So why go pitch in the playoffs and all that and risk injury when I could stay on the Tigers, pitch a couple more months, stay healthy, opt out, and sign a huge contract? without having to risk injury of playoffs or anything like that. So this makes sense for Eduardo. I see why he wanted to stay here and just wait and just sign a bigger contract in the offseason after he opts out. Now, from the Tigers' perspective, we completely lose out in this situation. We don't get anything in return from Eduardo Rodriguez walking. All we get is, uh, hey, goodbye, thanks for being here. That's all we get. And that's completely... The fault of Al Avila. What do you guys think, though? Do you guys think Scott Harris should have made a move? Do you guys think this is Scott Harris's fault? Should we have just traded him for nothing? Should we just got rid of him for free and cheap just to say we did it? Or was it Al Avila's fault and Scott Harris just couldn't really clean up his mess? Because in my opinion, I'm not going to put this on Scott Harris. You guys let me know if it's Scott Harris's problem in the comments. Let me know if I'm wrong on this, but I don't think this is Scott Harris's fault. I think this is still Avila haunting the Detroit Tigers, and it just it never fails, man. Even when he's gone, we still got to deal with the mess that he made here. So it's, it's just it's brutal, guys. Eduardo Rodriguez, he's going to stay on the Tigers. Hopefully, he opts in. But I mean, that's very wishful thinking at this point. As a Tigers fan, I'll say Eduardo, opt in, please, please, please. But he probably won't with the season he had. He's probably going to make more than whatever he's making, seventeen million. He'll probably end up making 25 mil a year or something along those lines. You know, you got guys out here like Scherzer and Verlander. They're signing for 40 million plus just for one year. So I think Eduardo, he could probably, he's a lefty. He could probably make more than 18 million on the, on the free market. He'd probably make about 20, 25. You never know what he can make, but I think he can make more. So he's definitely probably going to opt out. I'm hoping he doesn't, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think he's going to opt out or do you think he's going to stay in Detroit? Because... Right now, it's not looking good for the Tigers. This is a really bad situation. Although I am glad that we did trade Michael Lorenzen. Like I said, Scott Harris made a play. That's all Scott Harris. What do you guys think of that? Do you guys think that was a good trade for the Tigers? Let me know down in the comments. But other than that, that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Al Avila still haunts the Detroit Tigers, unfortunately. And there's pretty much just nothing we can do about it, guys. So without further ado, I'm Troy. This is Detroit Fan TV. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll be having tons more of Detroit sports content. And I'm out. Peace.